A uh, jury deliberation started today in the murder trial for Nima Momeni. He's the man accused of killing Cash App founder Bob Lee in April of last year. Crown Force Rob Nesbitt reports on the possible outcomes in the trial. Similar to the rest of this trial, jury deliberations are not expected to be a quick process. Twelve men and women on the jury deciding the fate of Nima Momeni. Jury deliberations started Wednesday, with the judge giving her final instructions to start the morning. The prosecution has argued that Nima Momeni stabbed Bob Lee to death under the Bay Bridge, arguing his motive was Lee having a part in the drugging and sexual assault of Momeni's sister. As for the defense, they have maintained that Momeni acted in self-defense. Legal analyst Stephen Clark has been following the trial for the last six weeks. Both the prosecution and defense witnesses seem to be in this party world of high tech, and the question is, how much credibility are these witnesses going to have with this jury? So there was a lot for both sides to give the jurors to think about. Lee was stabbed to death three times, and video surveillance of his last moments have been played in court several times. During closing arguments Tuesday afternoon, the defense played a video showing Lee outside San Francisco's Battery Club less than five hours before he was killed, claiming the video shows the 43-year-old using the same knife he was killed with to snort drugs. We held it till closing. We entered it into evidence, which means that it's part of the, of the record, and we presented it to the jury in a way that we thought was the appropriate strategic way. After hearing all the witness testimony and seeing all the evidence, the jury now has four options. Well, many could be acquitted of the murder charges against him and be set free. Clark explained other possible verdicts. First considering the first degree murder, if they come back that the DA didn't prove that, they will then consider voluntary manslaughter, and then move down to involuntary manslaughter. So they have to be unanimous one way or the other before they move to the next charge. A guilty verdict of first degree murder would likely result in life in prison for Nima Momeni. Court has ended for today, so jury deliberations will resume Thursday morning. Reporting in San Francisco, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.